So I have another Bridgerton watch party this weekend with my book club and I decided just to make some gifts for them. So I went ahead and used my sketchbook. Very subtle Bridgerton themed bookmarks for them. I mean like I would draw a flower and then there'll be a bee. So I think I'm just gonna just color all the watercolors. But we shall see because I'm not good at painting. Does this look okay? <laughs> what am I doing? Eh. Ah. In a world of boys, he's a gentleman. On the outside, I was looking at him. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Okay, it's been some time and I finished painting. The last one, I think I kind of got lazy in the shows. So here's the first one. I'm thinking this is, this is the daffodil and has a bee. This reminds me of Penelope. And the second one, definitely season two. The purple reminds me of Kate. This one's pink. Maybe we can call her Daphne. But the blue gives me Eloise vibes. It's my favorite flower, but for the painting job, not that great. I'm gonna poke a hole, put some tassels through it, and I'll be a bookmark. what I did or what's going on but I got another package and it's from Harper Collins publisher I don't know let's open it I think I know what this is Wells Bells and then they have a golf ball oh wait it's a lip moisturizer okay it's shaped like a golf ball Okay, this is one of the first books that me and my book club read. This book actually came out this year, earlier this year, I think a few months ago. If you haven't read it, you should read it. Thank you, Miss Tessa Bailey. Thank you, Avon. And thank you, Harper Collins, for sending this, even though I have no idea why. So usually how my book club pick their next book is we kind of go around in circles. And so we start with one person will start for the month of January and then the next person is February and next person is March, so on and so forth. But we tried to do something different today. There's four of us. So we wrote two titles each, a slip of paper, threw all our papers in a bowl and then we just start picking and whatever is the last one is going to be the book that we're going to read. What we picked was 
this was my suggestion. <laughs> so I heard really good things about this book and honestly just this name it's enough to just entice me like assistant to the villain it's like a comedy fantasy what can be wrong i need to get started i can't i'm so excited Got some really soggy scrambled eggs with tomato, onions, and avocado, some jackfruit, and some cucumbers. Oh, and hala. Can you tell me what is with adults? at book sales, especially library book sales, that act like children. So a fight broke out at the library book sale. So earlier this morning, I went to a library book sale and it's kind of in a bougie neighborhood. So a lot of people showed up because they wanted to get their hands on really good books. I would say maybe 20% of them were actual readers and the other ones had all these like beepers and scanners and they got quite just ready to just dump all their books because they want to resell and they don't treat the books with respect. They'll grab their books and start tossing it into their crate. But these two grown ass men were fighting. Some guy saw a book first and the other guy just went and grabbed it. Children it's like children but I think even worse and they say women are more emotional without further ado let's get started I would say I would have around 60 to 70 books I think every one of them except for one I have gotten either secondhand Facebook marketplace thrifted or from a little free library so many of these books that I got are in such great quality I really do urge you to look up your local library book sales a really good site to go on to see if you have one near you is library book sale finder I think or book sale finder.com Lapina is not a happy family this is gonna be a gift I'm also giving her the villa by Rachel Hawkins Hard cover two dollars such great quality and I'm also giving her the wife upstairs these three are all for her Finally, I finished my Emily Henry collection. I read all her books, but I have yet to have people meet on vacation. I know this is probably everyone's least favorite. I get it. It's kind of mine as well, like in, in the lower tier. I just need to have her collection completed. Rapid speed, okay, rapid fire. I'm gonna show you all the rest of my books. Funny you should ask. The Light We Lost. The Night Circus, Bringing Down the Duke. Portrait of a Scotsman, Get a Life, Chloe Brown, In Five Years, That Summer Feeling, Wait For It, and This Time Tomorrow. I have not read any of these books besides Emily Henry's People We Meet on a Vacation, so just let me know if they're all good. So total for all these books is 14 books in total, $28, that's my entire haul. So let's get started with our Amazon. So I actually got an Amazon gift card from couponing and doing a lot of cashback stuff online. So I was gifted a gift card, but also Amazon was having a book sale. So these books were not full price. And so I used my gift card and all I paid was a dollar. And just for the summer, never read this, I cannot wait. It's the Ballad of Never After. This is what I got from Amazon. So today's damage, 14 plus these two, 16 books. And I'm pretty sure I have a book outlet shipment coming in. I don't know. I just got my other bookshelf and I don't even know if I can fit that. Oh. Oh my god. <gasps> Am I doing it? It is so ugly. Something cute for her when she reads. Like Starry Night Sky for her fantasies. Her reading list. I want to hurt you back You discover that I might let you down 
If you keep me around, it would baffle you. If you only knew. I've been in bed all morning trying to finish up this arc because it releases today. So what I've been reading is Threads of Fate by C.A. Blooming. And it is book one in a series and it is her debut novel. And holy crap, the twist, the pretzel at the end my honest opinion of this book it is a little wordy so the arc is around 600 pages i believe the final version that releases today is around 400 so she definitely like cut some parts out it is wordy there's a lot of fillers okay so i thought i liked slow burns this one is slow i don't mind her writing style but i do think it could be better with more and more books that she writes she has a lot of potential for a debut novel the world building is not bad it is really good i need to i need to put this in my reading journal yeah i need to i need to put this in my reading journal so yesterday i was a little bored and i counted all the books in my room and honestly, I have two bookshelves, one here and then one over here. Was roughly estimating it to about 80 books. It was not 80 books. It was 169 books. So I decide today I'm just gonna unhaul some of these, put them in some of the little free libraries in my local area. The point of unhauling is to not bring back more. So The Vine Witch by Luann G. Smith, The Monstrous Mrs. Mai, and Alice Hoffman, Turtle Moon. Yep, let's unhaul these three. Let's see. Is this mine? Huh. I've been really, really enjoying this book. And I think this is the perfect book to start after reading such a heavy book. My book club and I, we finished A Little Life. They finished A Little Life. I DNF'd it because it was a little bit triggering. As we all know, or if you didn't know, A Little Life is very, very heavy. And one of my critiques on the book is that they should have a trigger warning. I've always wanted to read this. Ever since I read the title, I was like, this seems like such a fun time. And then I looked up Hannah Nicole and she's hilarious. And I found out that she made a whole bunch of episodes, like little little skits and episodes on TikTok and it gained a lot of traction. Then she got signed and she was able to write a book. And so this was her little baby and she's coming out with a new one, I think either later this year or next year. They did tell you, they're like warning, it's very fun and you're gonna laugh out loud and I was like yeah 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 no I laughed so hard I dedicated a certain color to all the times that I laugh and all the parts are funny I'm almost out of it I don't know if you can see but I did use this color for all the lol moments I only have a few sheets left and I'm not even halfway through the book yet I have this much I need to dedicate another color to lol because I'm pretty sure she's gonna have a lot more it's just so cute and I really enjoy it and I think I enjoyed it even more because this is the follow-up to such a heavy heavy book scientist who captured her but now it's time to set her free maybe somehow in this skull of mine i find it hard to see the truth because how romanticize a boring life if that means i suggest this you can cut any kind of fruit toss in some tahini maybe squeeze a lime oh and then it just brings out all the juice so good so i just finished assistant to the villain i enjoy hannah nicole's sense of humor maybe it's just like the kind of humor like brooklyn 99 new girl big bang theory things like that i feel like she really got that kind of humor down so you can just imagine some of the characters deadpanning to the camera 
But now I am reading The Arc to Backtrack by Ellen LaRusa. But it is definitely giving 13 going on 30 plus what is that movie that just came out on Amazon? Uh, the Greatest Hits. Oh, it's on Hulu, okay. The concept of it was what's so similar. The character's relationship with music and how music really played such a big role in their life and their relationship. Again, I'm on chapter eight. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but it's giving me that feeling. And I really hope there's a happily ever after because it's so far, I'm not seeing it. Some of these people are like very, very serious about them. No chicken dinner. Got a delivery. Melissa Wisner, Second Chance Year. It literally looks like it's in perfect condition. Two twisted crowns. Oh my God, this is in perfect condition too. What the heck? Honestly, book outlet is where it's at. Just My Type by Fallon Ballard. The Heart Principle by Helen Huang. I recently read The Kiss Quotient and it was so good. Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. Finally finished my collection of Abby Jimenez so then I could start the Abby Jimenez marathon. Get the know it all. Yeah, I'm not a raving girl. Mm freaking long for I think over like four years it's been very very long I, don't <sighs> I got a little VR package this is heathen this is honeysuckle this is Leo and Darby from the book Heathen and Honeysuckle by Sarah A. Bailey. I've already read the book. Go to my TikTok if you want to see my review on it. These bubble wrappers, how do you, how do people get these bubble wrappers and print this art out? Like, it's just, I don't even want to throw it away. Just. Okay, so there's some pictures I can't show you, some I can't. Like this one, this one's cute. This one, maybe. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm gonna show you. Okay, that's it. So pause, zoom in if you want. But okay, that's all I'm gonna show you. The cutest little tote bag. Oh my god. I love it so much. I need to read this again so I can annotate it and make it all pretty. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. 